Oh, good morning, good morning. It's Rach here, multi-award winning award writer with the awards people here with a new face in the Badass Bistro, <laughs> courtesy of Rick Pancholi and the chums here at Patterson's Commercial Law, um, who lend us their space. It's fab space, isn't it? Brilliant. Yeah. Um, when I am a grown-up and I have an office, I'm going to have <laughs> space size rather than a garret. Especially with the I alcohol write. as well. <laughs> Could come in handy. Yeah, you know, if you have a, a long day or a bad day. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but we're on water here today, obviously. <laughs> Um, so, Erin, why don't you start us off by introducing yourself, the company, and a little bit about what the company does. So, I'm Erin, I'm Group Events Coordinator and Planner from Palmer's Garden Centre. Um, we're not just a garden centre, obviously we sell plants, but we've also got an amazing cafe, garden furniture, homeware, giftware, a multitude of things. We even have Santa's Grotto at Christmas time. an amazing Santa's yeah. Grotto, complete with reindeer and all great, sorts. Real reindeer and everything, so yeah, it's amazing. Um, we've got three sites in total now, which is crazy. Um, so yeah, my job role now is to kind of get things rolling with events and come up with new ideas to get people in really. Oh wow, and how long have you been with Palmer's? So almost five years altogether. <gasps> So, <laughs> yeah, I started as a 16 year old, just doing weekends. Oh, um, fab. Yeah, I was doing that for two years, left school, and then, yeah, went full time, and here I am. Gosh. A couple of years later. So, yeah, I've, I've kind of worked my way around the, the three sites and different departments and whatever. So, I've done my fair share of hard work. <laughs> but all three, each of the three sites are so very different, They're aren't so they? different. Because when Hazel in, took me around, Hazel also works for Palmer's and, mm -hmm. and is kind of my shared main contact yes, with yeah. your good self. Um, and she said, Nick, come along and have a look at each of the three sites and really get under the skin of each one because they are very They're different. They're so different. I think they will have a different demographic as well. Obviously, Enderby is, was the first one. It's what it was built from. Um, and it's the, the biggest shop wise so we've got the works in there at edinburgh woolen mill um we've got a huge cafe which has an extension on that and the food's amazing yeah, lovely yeah. Like i said really i'm a bit nice. biased but well yeah, yes. i think it's brilliant it's, it's home cooked it's, it is yeah you know, it's not kind of what i call crudely three pricks in a ping <laughs> and My it is way. it's more of a restaurant as well now you can go and you can have a sit down meal and it's it's a whole day experience destination yes yeah. that's exactly yeah um, so yeah, that's Enderby, then we've got Horgrip, which is also just outside of Enderby Village, and that's um, a proper nursery, mm. old school, just plants, and yeah, that's really for the hardcore gardeners. But the knowledge they've got of that. It's incredible. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I worked there for almost two years, and uh, I, I tried to learn a little bit, but <laughs> it's, there's so much to know. But some people there, they've worked there for over 20 years, so their knowledge is just amazing. And then we've got Ullastort, which is a bit quieter. Um, it's based in Ullastort Village, near Lutterworth and Magna Park. Um, but yeah, they've all got different customer bases. And I think it's nice because each, is, each site is catered to the customers we want to target, really, mm. which is, yeah, which is nice. Cool. So I met um, Hazel and Caroline, who's yeah. one of the family members who Yeah, owns. she's a great... So her and her brother Rob um, are the great grandchildren of the founders. So yeah, it's well, fourth generation now, great. third, fourth. Yes, fourth. Fourth generation now, which Brilliant. is yeah, amazing. So over, well over a hundred and something years. The business, yeah, not Caroline. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a hundred years in 2011. Oh wow! So yeah, that's around about time that we bought all this up as well. So we haven't had other stuff for too long, really, when you think about it. Well, not in the scale of not the whole business. End of has been there, yeah. <laughs> so, it's, yeah. But yeah, 10 years next year for it. Mm. Mm. Gosh, it goes by so quick. Well, not yeah. for you, obviously. You're young. You're young. <laughs> you get to my age. Dave's age. Uh, <laughs> um... So I met Hazel and Caroline mm -hmm. at a networking event at Ullersthorpe. Yes. With Debbie. Um, and I uh, had a conversation about entering awards, looking to win some awards, what was the kind of thing that, that was in, of interest to them? Because obviously there's the industry awards, but there's then more your general business awards, yeah. like Leicestershire Live, used to be the Leicester Mercury Business Awards. Mm -hmm. um, so there's all those kind of good and fabulous things. But I think some of the pieces that Caroline particularly and, and Hazel were talking to me about is about the family side of it, but not just the family in its kind of direct 
Caroline and Rob, yeah. but it having everybody, all their, their employees, all the, the, the team members being yeah. part of their extended family. Oh yeah, hundred like, percent. Yeah. Um, about the training and development within there, so it was really trying to look at different award categories that would big up the business, mm -hmm. both within the business community, but within the, the industry, the horticultural industry. Um, but then also look at the different categories in terms of, of really showcasing the, the fabulous work that you guys have done yeah. to and develop we, and grow the business. And I think now we, we have so many different parts to our business as well. We're not just one thing or the other. We can, we've done so much. And even in a short amount of time, like in the past, since I've been there, we've had so much done to the store and yeah. we're continually reinvesting into the company as well. Mm -hmm. So it's not just for the, the owner's benefit now, it's for the future as well. Mm. And securing that for future generations and the future of the local area as well, because we are kind of a meeting point for a lot of people. And you, you do see regular customers who come in daily um, so yeah, it just goes to show how much we mean to the local area mm. and the community. And then, of course, you know, a fairly sizable employer, well, a big employer as well. Yeah. So lots of people mm. to, to keep fed. Yeah, I mean, we're all a... from like the local area. So mm. it's, yeah, I think we've got 100 and, about 175 employees now. Gosh. So, yeah. so, so far we've had three award entries in, we're still yeah. waiting on uh, a couple of them to announce. We're three or two? No, I'm not talking rubbish, I think it was two. Oh no, three, because we have got the family, the national family business yeah, awards, which you're a family, yeah, which yeah. you're a finalist for, mm -hmm. which is huge. That's incredible, yeah, I mean even just to be shortlisted is incredible. Um, mm. And yeah, I think it means a lot to them as well, because it kind of proves our credibility as a business. Mm. And I think a lot of people assume that we're a big corporate company when we're really not. Oh, wow. Especially, yeah, when you get talking to customers and um, future employees, they just kind of assume because obviously well, the big are, ones like yeah, Dobby's, Woodlands, well, mm. Dobby's bought Woodlands now. Um, so yeah, it's nice to us to, sh to show that we, although we are just a family company, we are big in our sector and we are known for our quality in Leicestershire, mm. which is nice for us to hear as well. It's nice to be proving that as well and it's also to say thank you to our our community our customers our suppliers our staff who've worked with us for years and years mm. it's nice to show them that this award is built up from them really because mm. without their support we wouldn't be anywhere oh anywhere yeah absolutely now. absolutely i think a lot of family businesses say that you know, yeah. it's, it's all very well being a family-owned business but when you get to a size where it's not just in scare quotes the family working in there it's then it's well how do you bring people into they feel part of it and they feel yeah. you know part of the story and, and i think palmers do that really well i think everybody who comes in um staff and suppliers customers have, we all feel very welcomed and family values that you'd have at home also translate into store so very much respect of each other and we help and support each other and we can also have a bit of a laugh and i think if customers and the staff are happy it means a lot as well because the customers know they can come into store and they can have a chat with the till staff and it's almost like a big part of their day as well. So, yeah. So that was a huge one to win. Uh, well, not to win, sorry. That's Hopefully we win. <laughs> He's up back there. But to be a finalist in, and the first one that you, you entered the family business, national family business mm -hmm. was fantastic. We're still waiting on Leicestershire Live Business Awards, previously called Leicester Mercury. Yeah. They just started shortlisting. I had a client call me who's been... He's got, they haven't shortlisted, he's got judges visit for company of the year. Yeah. So Ooh. they're obviously doing that now. In the process. <laughs> so we'll see. And then obviously next month we've got um, a big one for the industry, we've got the Horticultural Awards. So uh, yeah. I should be scribing furiously away and sending stuff over for you to check yes. and amend. Um, Definitely. But next week I'll start on yeah. that, so early doors next week. So I think it's important to remember as well, we are primarily a garden centre. Um, so it's nice for us to be recognised in horticulture as well because mm. like with the whole grip site we do grow a lot, a lot of our own mm. produce oh yeah you have um, nurserymen in there yeah I mean, it's you know it's proper it's incredible it's, it's not just bought in from yeah holland holland but yeah so it's nice to be recognised in that as well because that's where we started we started as a nursery mm. and it's grown into the site it is now yeah um so yeah we're not just homeware and giftware we are we are still horticultural but i think also uh, like you say with the, the the kind of the retail side of it you, you only need to read the papers or, or watch the news and see oh retail's on its arse you know high street blah, blah blah all that kind of stuff well actually i think you've kind of 
proof we that... have grown hugely absolutely huge it's incredible the amount of stock we have in and Everything I mean is that Mother's Day, Valentine's Day, Christmas. Christmas is a huge thing for us. Oh, I got Christmas. I'm not a Christmassy person. I, I like Christmas because basically most of my clients stop calling me or emailing because they're all having time with their families, which is wonderful. And I love my clients to pieces. I'm sitting with one. But to have that break is, is just oh, wonderful. Yeah. Um, but when I came to see, I think it was Hazel. Mm -hmm. It was Hazel when she showed me around. I got Christmassy. I don't do Christmas. I was like, oh. <gasps> It was just, it was amazing. Yeah, like half of our store is turned into Christmas displays and we have a big Christmas open evening. And it's, yeah, it's huge for us. Obviously, then we have the grotto as well. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, it's the busiest few months for us. Crazy. <laughs> Absolutely crazy. Absolutely um, that's crazy. And that's such a big thing now with the Santa's grotto and the whole experience. It's not just going in to see Santa now. No, no, reindeer, etc. Reindeer, real reindeer. <laughs> but to have a successful retail outlet that has become part of it doesn't feel bolted on to the core mm. of the business which obviously is the the garden center the nursery etc etc it feels you've managed to do it in a way that it kind of feels all encompassing yeah and and as i say when, when other people are closing down giving up you know saying oh well you can buy it all online for mm. you to have kind of set yourself up as, as a destination as somewhere that you can go and spend some quality time enjoy yourself yeah get some great food or a drink if you want to or not wander, ask some advice on, you know, I think your that, or whatever. That's the reason why we've done so well because of the family values that are instilled to all of us. It's quality, service. So customers know they can come to us and we'll help them, we'll give advice, we'll go and fetch plants for them. Anything they need, we'll do for them. So I think that's why we've done so well because we're not, we don't just provide the products and that's it. They know they get this whole experience with us as well. Um, which I don't think you necessarily get in bigger corporate companies. Mm. Hazel was saying that there's um, some customers that come on specific days when some of your part-time workers, they know that they're in. Mm. So they'll come and speak to, let's make up a name, James, because yeah. he works a Wednesday afternoon, and then they'll come and specifically talk to James about... Yeah, and we, have, we do have regular customers, they come in, I want to see this person, I want to speak to this person, because they know they're a friendly, familiar face, and only they'll get the help and advice that they need. And that's nice for us, because it shows that the customers do want to get involved and they do care about us and our staff. Mm -hmm. um, well, your, uh, your reviews on uh, when we were putting together one of the awards, I think it was the uh, Leicestershire Life yeah. um, Awards, the testimonials are just, mm. it just, they kept coming through and coming through and I was like, <laughs> I don't know, it always got to the point of, well, I can't put everything in, but which <laughs> ones, oh, if I, uh, I cut that one out and put that one in, I mean, they're just genuine yeah, and as I well, get emails they? as well, um, so now I went to Willestorp and the cafe staff were amazing and it's nice to feed that back to our own staff as well, so mm. they know they, they're doing a good job, but obviously that comes with training and development as well, like, I'm not saying we're perfect, we don't think perfect because yeah. we don't, but... But yeah, it's nice to see that what we do is working and the customers enjoy service and experience. So. so by entering these awards, what is it that you want to gain out of it? Why, why I guess, are you doing it? You, you mentioned earlier about um, kind of taking everybody on the journey with you and being able to yeah. say thank you and that kind of stuff. Yeah, so it's important to thank our, our customers, our suppliers and our staff for what we've done. It's showing how we've grown from a small nursery to now a company with three sites, but we are still that family company that we were years and years ago. Um, and like I mentioned, I don't know if I said it on camera, about the credibility of the company. So we're not just a small garden centre in Enderby. You know, we're known across Leicestershire. Mm. Um, and a further field as well. Further, yeah, I mean... That people travel from, certainly from all over the East Midlands. But I think, I'm sure she said, if I'm wrong here, so you have to correct me, I'm sure she said she had people who possibly had family down here, but they travelled from Scotland to possibly see family. But while they were down here, they yeah. looked in to see... Um, we get regularly, obviously from working in Santa Squatta, I kind of get to know, we have people travelling from um, Northamptonshire, Derbyshire, I've had somebody come down from Liverpool because I wanted one specific plant, um, <laughs> Southampton... <laughs> So it is crazy. Got to be doing something right. Yeah. And like I said, I think it's, they know they're going to get the experience and the quality when they come to us. You're not just going to 
a big I'm not going to name any names you're not yeah. just going to go to a big chain mm. and you get your plant and go you get kind of get everything with us which is yeah it means a lot and I think for Caroline and Rob it'll mean a hell of a lot to them as well because they are very hands-on and mm -mm -mm. um, we see them pretty much every single day they do a lot for the company so to them it's it will mean a lot to them and their family mm. as well so they are what they have built up over the years I think uh, I saw Caroline last just before Christmas to networking do and she came up to me and she said oh she says it's good to have a, a sit down and be in the wall I said oh what have you yeah. been doing today I've been cutting Christmas trees oh yeah, yeah. she's crazy she's absolutely <laughs> very crazy. hands on in the summer she'd be at hall grip you know eight till eight it's just mad um that's why I think people assume that we are a bigger company and we don't have they're not like that but they are they're very hands-on and they come in and we have a chat and it just it's always just like one big family and I think me being there five years now I feel like that as well you come in you come into work every day and you feel welcomed and it, it's like you just feel happy and content and yeah it's a lovely place to work Wow. Well, thank you so much for joining us. I no mean, problem. I've got everything crossed for yes. the first ones. You have to come back later in the year and tell us how you've got on, what you've been Definitely. doing, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, fingers crossed for the next one for Leicestershire Live. Keep yeah. coming at the Leicester Mercury Business Awards, Leicestershire Live Business mm -hmm. Awards, and uh, yeah, we'll be speaking on email next week with the, the biggie, the big industry uh, industry one that we've got, the horticultural yes. awards for yeah. you. And I think there's numerous categories for that one, so I might be inundating you a bit. So sorry. <laughs> In advance. <laughs> but um, yeah, that'll be fabulous. So before I let you go, yeah. I do have to ask you my three quick fire questions. Okay. So imagine, if you will, that you're a finalist, as yeah. you are, uh, in the, the National Family Business Awards, and you're at the do. You've yeah. got through to the do, wherever the do is, probably Wembley, I don't know. Um, and you're sitting there at your table, yeah. and on the stage, uh, for some reason it's Dave who's doing the announcement. Yeah. And Dave <laughs> says, and the winner is Palmer's Garden Centre. Around your table, would you bear hug or high five in celebration? I think we'd all probably high five, jump around, scream a bit, <laughs> get the drinks out. <laughs> Marvellous, she's one ahead of me already. <laughs> Going up onto the stage, who would go up? Would it be the whole team? Would it be one or two people? What do you think? Um, I'm not sure, to be honest. I think we'd want to make sure Caroline and Robin, if their families turn, they go up because it is for them. But I think they'd like the whole team to go up. Ooh, but I'd want to make sure right. that... Yeah, I know. <laughs> but I'd like to make sure that Caroline and Rob go up and accept it because it is, at the end of the day, it's because of them that we are where we are. Perfect. I'm at the bar. This is why Dave's yeah. on stage. Don't call him Tight Dave for no, they don't call him Tight Dave at all, do they, darling? Um, I'm at the bar and I say, Palms Garden Centre Posse, champagne or Prosecco to celebrate? Um, I'd say Prosecco, but I'm more oh. of a gin and tonic fan. Oh, oh, Lady Before You was a gin yeah, and tonic. Yeah, it's a big well. thing now. It's huge. It's a massive thing. Huge. You can gin and tonic, that's fine. You can go off piste. We haven't had an off piste <laughs> for a while, that's fine. <laughs> so we're going with gin and tonic. Gin and tonic. Can't Flavor. go wrong. Preference yeah, or I'm just, a, I just like a normal gin and tonic. Oh, I know you're going to get pink gins, rhubarb gins, orange gins. No, I had you. A passion fruit gin the other day. A passion fruit. But you can't beat just a normal gin and tonic. A bit of cucumber. You see, you need to have a gin distillery near you rather than. Rather than. And Everard's are fabulous. But yeah. They don't do a gin, do they? <laughs> can't beat a gin. So get rid of Everard. <laughs> Sorry, we don't want you. Bless you well. I mean, so much is happening with them, isn't it? And their development. So. It's crazy, yeah. So I don't know if I said this again on camera, whether it was with you. Um, but we've just recently formed part of the Blaby Tourism Partnership. That's working with loads of local companies, so like Everard's, Foss Park Development, Woodland Cycle, Tithe Barn, the Victory Show in Cosby. You. Um, me. <laughs> Palmer's. Um, so yeah, alongside that, we're putting together an events calendar, which will be posted on the Blaby Tourism website, I believe. Oh, so I've just got fun. loads of funding. Um, going to keep you put, busy. Yeah, loads of exciting things going on in Leicester to put them on the map, really. And we're not just King Richard; we are loads of other things as well. So yeah, keep your eye out because a few exciting things happening hopefully yeah, with that. Fab. And again, another way, of, a great way of raising profile for you guys as well. Yeah, and it's. Again, it's like giving back to the community yeah. and improving things for the local people as well. 
Got some good neighbours. <laughs> yeah, got <a> good neighbours. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you so much for yes, coming thank in. Thank you. Uh, we will see you next week. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, press the notification bell so you get to hear when we have our next video up, which are released weekly. Any comments on this video, uh, topics you'd like to discuss, questions you'd like to ask Erin or the guys at Gardens Palmer Centre, just let us know. We'll pass that over to you for you to answer. Um, but until next week, we will have a fabulous week. We hope you will as well and we'll catch you next week. Bye.